Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create the water simulation. So first we'll import the collision object. So just I will take an geometry node. Inside that we'll take a file node. This file node has been used to import the FBX or OBJ format. So just I will select this and here I will browse the model. So this is a model which we are going to use as a collision object. And now the size of this object is very big. So I will change the size. So in order to do that, we'll take a node called like match size. So just I will select this. So in the match size, we will enable this option called like scale to fit. So now it has been decreased the size of the object. And still, if you want to increase or decrease the size here, we can use this uh, target size option. So just I will give the value to like five. So that just I will uh, increase the size of the object. And now I will change the position of this object exactly to this like grid level. So in the target position, just I will change the value of Y so that I will place exactly onto this ground. So now we will create the sourcing object. The sourcing object is nothing but from where you want to generate the particles. So in this case, I want to generate the particles by using the spear. So just I will take a spear node and just I will change the position of this spear. So template this and just I will change this Y direction. And now we will convert this pair into points. So in order to do that, we'll take a node called points from volume. So just I will select this and now we got this points. So now we will take a null node for this both the things means like we will browse this null in the DOP network. I will show you now. So first we'll take a null, null node and just we will name it as like flip particles. It's up to you. And for this, I will take an another null. And here I will name it as like foul and as like collision. So make sure you save this file. And now we will generate the particles by using this sphere. So in order to do that, first we'll go back and we will create a node called like top network. So just go inside. And here we'll take a flip object. And after that, we'll take a flip solver. So I will connect to this first input and I will connect to this output here. So whenever we connect this to output, so defaultly the particles are going to generate from this cube here. So be because like if you select this flip object, now default object is like cube. But what the thing is we want to generate the particles by using the sphere which we have created in the geometry. So in order to do that, first we'll take a node called volume source. So in this volume source, I will connect this to flip solver to the last input. So if you hover the mouse onto this here, it is showing like sourcing. So in the volume source, I will browse the model which we have created. Uh, so like in the soft path, we need to select this and we need to browse the model. So we go to object geometry and this is a model which we are going to use for generating the particles as this is a flip particle. So now see in geometry as we have created this null. So this null has to be selected while browsing the soft path. So in the DOP network, in the volume source, we need to select this flip particles. That means like the null node and click on accept here. And what the thing is in the volume node, just we need to go to these particles and enable the source particles and just remove these particles here. Now say here, the particles will going to generate from this pair. And also we want to remove this thing. So in the flip object, just in the soft path, we need to click on backspace so that it will remove here. And now if you click on play, nothing will happen because like there is no force. So in order to add the force, we need to take a node called like gravity force. So select this and connect after this flip solver and see now the particles are simulating but what the thing is I want to see like an points so in order to do that first we need to press D D for donkey so in this we need to go to this geometry tab and here there is an option called like display sprite so we need to disable these options and here we need to select it to like pixels so now we got these particles and now what the thing is we need to increase the number of particles here. So in order to do that, like uh, we can select this flip solver. So we can select this flip uh, object and here we can give the value to 0 0.02 or something so that it will increase the number of particles. So now if you go back, so now see it has been increased the number of particles. Now what the thing is, we need to create the collision for this object. So in order to create the collision, so we need to take a node called like static object. So in this static object, we have to browse the null which has been connected to bowl. Uh, in this static object, just we will select the soft path and here we need to select that bowl and click on accept. 
And now we need to take a match node after gravity. So match node, we need to connect here and we need to connect this static object to this match node here. And make sure in the match node, we need to swap the model to the top direction. That means the uh, collision object has to be in the left side here. So now you click on this play. Now you can see it is making a collision with this object. And also just I will enable this real time. So just I will enable this real time. So now we can see it properly. So see now it is making a collision. And also in some cases, uh, you have to refine the collision object too. Means like uh, we need to specify the proper collision. So in order to do that, if I select this static object and here you can see there is an option like collision. And here we can enable the collision guide here. So just I will, for timing, I will uh, disable this geometry. So now you can see there is no proper collision here. It means like there are some gaps in the collision. So we need to fill these gaps here. So in order to do that, just in the uniform divisions, we need to increase the value so that it will exactly fill this thing. So that we will get the perfect collision here. So again, we will like turn off this collision guide and we will enable this display geometry. And now if you click on this play, and now it is making a collision with this object here. And now what the thing is, we need to maintain the same value for this points volume. So means like see here, the point separation is 0 0.1. As in the DOP network, in the flip solver, we have given to like flip object, we have given to uh, 0 0.02. So we have to copy this parameter. So copy this parameter and we need to go to this uh, DOP geometry. And in the points volume, we need to paste relative reference here. So what the thing is, like whenever we make some changes in this flip object, so it will apply to this points volume. So now we will see this. So here we got this nice simulation. So after increasing number of particles, and next, what the thing is, we need to create some caches to this thing. Uh, means like, see if I go back. So in the DOP network, what the thing is, we need to create the cache of these particles here. But what the thing is, creating the cache in this DOP network will not work. We need to do in this geometry like SOP level. So what the thing is, we need to bring entire simulation to this SOP level in the geometry. So in order to do that, what the thing is, in the geometry, we need to take a node called like DOP IO node. So DOP IO node and just we'll delete this file cache. Now what the thing is, in this geometry, we are going to import the entire DOP network. So in order to do that, in the DOP import file, so in this DOP import field, we need to browse the node, the DOP network which we have created. So in the DOP network, we need to browse the entire DOP network. So we need to select this DOP net and click on accept here. So what the thing is, the total entire simulation has been brought to into this geometry level. So now what the thing is, we need to convert these particles into mesh. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called fluid from surface. So select this and we need to connect here. So just I will connect into here and just we will enable this. And also here we need to paste the same value in the particle separation. So as we have copied this value, so right click copy parameters and we need to go inside this DOP network. Sorry, we need to go inside the geometry and here particle separations, paste relative reference. And now I will go back. So now we will see this. So still we are not able to see the mesh. So just I will stop this. So what the thing is in the top input field, we need to select this option called like preset. So in preset, we need to select this flip fluid. So now it will convert into mesh here. So now again, we will see the simulation. So the simulation is slow. Uh, what the thing is, we will uh, create a flip book. Uh, so before that, I will just disable this uh, UV map. So just I will select this and just I will disable this. And now we will uh, use the flip book to create the simulation. So in order to do that, just we need to go select this option like flip book. And here we can decide the number of frames. So at present, I want to uh, complete this entire simulation. So entire like 240 frames. So just I will click on this start. So now we have created this flip book. So if you click on this play, so we got this nice simulation. So in case if you want to add more turbulence kind of thing means like more noise to this liquid. So we need to add a point to velocity to this uh, sphere. So like I will just uh, click on 
I will close this flip book. And now here, what the thing is, so I will go to the first frame. And here in after points from volume, we will take a node called like point to velocity, point velocity, and just will connect here. And now what the thing is in this, just uh, we will enable the option called like curl noise. And also just will decrease the value to 0 0.5 or something. And also I will increase the point velocity. Uh, so here you can see there is an option like add velocity so that the more liquid, suppose in case if you want the more liquid to fall outside. So here we need to add the velocity. So let's say I will give the value to like one or something. And now we will use the flip book again. So just select this. So now the simulation has been completed. So we got this nice simulation, but the thing is uh, we got more noise. So that means if you go to the point velocity, just we will uh, decrease the noise here. So if you select this point velocity in the curl noise, just we can give the value to like 0 0.1 or something. So in the next video, we will see how to add the materials and lighting to this scene here. So see you in the next video.